guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron for the Earth Basic Sorgonomics this year, August 11th, 2015, talking Chachi plays for kids. We had it this past weekend. It was an awesome, awesome time. Uh, you can see time lapse if you're on the video there. Go check that out. Uh, we'll have all that stuff linked, especially the Facebook page for Chachi Plays for Kids. Uh, but kind of just kind of looking back at the event, how did it go? This was the fifth iteration of Chachi Plays. Uh, the fourth time we've been at the Toonzeum doing this. And, and first of all, the Toonzeum, uh, amazing, amazing place. Um, I mean, we're just surrounded by all this comic book art and just this this, um, this, this ultimate geekdom, right? And they let us come in there. One, use their amazing couch they happen to have in there. And, uh, and again, use the space and uh, set up our video games for uh, 24 hours here uh, for uh, Chachi Plays for Kids. And, uh, and it was really cool. And, and, and there was a little bit uh, of new stuff uh, going on as well. Uh, there was a, we, had, we had some brainstorms to try to get more people to come into the location. You know, we had a lot of people that, you know, follow along with this. And they, they do show up, um, you know, as expected during this for the tournaments, for the, uh, you know, just to come down and support. Uh, so so uh, Katie actually was a big spearhead to... Uh, arrange a little bit of entertainment so there's a little bit of twirling hula hooping etc out front to, to kind of uh, get people in uh, it, was, it was also so great that so many people got to stick around over the nighttime part uh bobby fg time you, bobby fj town uh, who came in from johnstown to hang out uh you see in the video if you're on that as well as uh, actually my brother and, and his fiance stopped in as well overnight and we played a pretty good round of week golf at 4 a.m. as we as we tend to do uh, fuzzy stopped in late uh, to, to wake him up with some accordion action and uh, it's just really really awesome to see to see all the support and all the people coming out and the biggest thing uh, you know around the Mario Kart tournament is is got to be the biggest flux of people uh, so many are involved in it it's heated it's it's huge it's crazy and and it's just uh, yeah, I, I wrote this for for the article for uh, insertcointobegin.com, a little bit of a recap about it. But, uh, I, you know, one of the coolest things is just uh, looking around at that point and seeing so many people. And, 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 and it's something for charity, uh, you know, raising money for Father Ryan Art Center and a Toonzeum for uh, arts programs for underprivileged kids in Pittsburgh. And uh, to see people come together, you know, one, for a cause like that, and two, for just a bit of a love of video games seeing a bunch of people who don't i don't typically see together you know just bsing about video games um but but of course everybody's there for a, for a common thing and 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 it's just really really cool to kind of see that that interactivity uh, this is the culmination in a lot of ways uh of of i think for chachi of <laughs> all the social media good he does uh for the year uh to to bring them together for this um, you know, Chachi's very, um, uh, very big and, and very active on social media. He does things like the Chachi, uh, the Chachi 20, the Chachi 20, where he uh, rolls a dice every day and, and, and you guess the number. A, a, a uh, Dungeons and Dragons dice, of course. And, uh, and, and he does a lot of that to kind of, I mean, he, he does it naturally, but it gains a lot of uh, new friends, it gains a lot of attention. And then that one time a year, this comes around. And says, hey guys, please, you know, hey, please, please give us money for, for this, this, and this. This is an event uh five years in. I know after three or four years, we were we were kind of stating that uh, well, hey, this did this has brought in over ten thousand dollars for our various charities over the years, uh, over and and even more now over over the fifth year, of course. Um, so that can't be that can't be overlooked, you know. Uh, this year raising over well over eighteen hundred dollars, and I think that's that's really important because I know I, I, I from time to time I hear about other charity events and uh, the realization that are that there's some of these events that seem to do a lot more effort wise it feels and 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 gain a lot less you know and it's really cool to see that you know this for all it's doing is raising a decent number um especially today uh, you know I, I, you know listening to uh, uh Ginny uh, Montanez uh, uh, pit, pit girl 
uh, that's church.net, uh, Pittsburgh Magazine. Uh, she was at uh, Social Media Day talking about, you know, we, we actually were conjoined with her, conjoined? Hmm. Or helping her with the Make Room for Kiss she does for uh, Children's Hospital and uh, the Marlon Mew Foundation. And uh, even she's saying that she likes to raise $10,000 a year for that, to make that happen. And granted, she is somebody with a much larger footprint than we are and, uh, and, and, and uh, definitely has a bit more of an audience than I think either of us do. But uh, even she's saying it is so much harder to do that year to year because there's a lot of just attention is divided. And the same thing here, uh, we, you know, we're finding even just amongst people uh, in our circles, it's like, hey, this is coming up. Oh, that's coming up. But there's all this other stuff going on, too, to get their attention and to get their them to open their wallets for, for a good cause like this is it's kind of hard. And uh, we did do a little some some different things. We tried uh, a different time in the year. Uh, we, you know, again, the kind of the entertainment to kind of gain people in, you know, and it's twofold, you know, that and I think that did really help. It, it, the girls raised a, a lot of money just outside talking to people walking by. And it's a little warmer. We usually do this. Uh, we've done this, I think, as early as February and as late as May. And uh, and there's a lot more foot traffic, I think, than usual. Uh, so that's been kind of nice to to kind of. Uh, to kind of show a little bit more, uh, to kind of get it in front of a, of a few more people. And then, you know, there's that wonderful drunk Friday night crowd in the cultural district, little district as well. Um, and there's people coming in to the museum and they're going to check out what we're doing. And I think it's a little weird. People say, like, what, what's, what's happening? I came to look at the art and there's this guy in front of part of the exhibit. Uh, you know, but, uh, but uh, you know, and museums really, really awesome, um, and, and 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 more and more so it seems every year. And uh, I I don't know what the difference is, but everybody was super super into it. And that uh, Lex brought her PlayStation Four for her shift, uh, supervising the museum <laughs> over over the late late night hours into the morning. Uh, and 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 that so many, you know, just came and played. You know, came and played and had fun. You know, I love that we had an extra station with a Nintendo. Uh, that Chachi set up that people would just walk up and play whatever was in there, you know, whatever we could get working in that thing. I uh, played some old Ninja Turtles three with my brother uh, late night. Yeah, that was and that that's really cool. That's really really cool to, to keep us going, keep that you know that twenty four hours going. Uh, well, you know, I'm supervising the stream and thank you everybody. Thank you everybody for uh, popping in on that as well, getting the word out. And and I think what what happened was uh, we had a lot more kind of visual things happening because it, it seems like it seemed like in the past there was always these giant 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 lulls and it was really interesting actually because the event didn't sell out of the spots to play with Chachi I think we're kind of shifting a little bit of that um, of that uh, uh, momentum and everything it was just like come down and play guys you know. And, uh, you know, raise money and get the word out. And uh, there was just a lot more, again, you know, like like the video, like everything else, just a lot more visual, a lot more to talk about on social media, a lot more for people to share than just this guy sitting here playing video games. And it's kind of like all this activity. It is really funny, isn't it? Because there's just this guy on a couch playing video games. And there's just all this activity, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, uh, uh, wrapping, uh, hula hooping, uh, 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 tournaments that just kind of happen around him. And I'm sure there's a metaphor in there somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. So thanks everybody again for making uh, Chuck's Good Place for Kids 5 2015 a, uh, a very successful event, a very fun event. I think some people are going to be talking about it for a good long time. There's videos up there. Go to ChachiPlays.com. There's a few more videos over on the Chachi Plays Facebook. Uh, YouTube's are kind of spread all over the place. I'm going to uh, get them coordinated here a little bit more this morning. Uh, also, if you're interested to see how the Mario Kart tournaments went, those are also posted on the YouTubes for Insert Coin to begin uh, as of now. Uh, so you can kind of see how heated and crazy that got. And uh, again, thanks a lot. Uh, uh, donations are open for the next week. Uh, so if you didn't get in there, if you're just finding out about this event now, please go to ChachiPlays.com and hit that donut button. And, uh, and and that's all I got. Let me know what you think. What do you think about uh, events like this? What are some other events, some other charity events, some online charity events, game thons whatever, that really do it right? Anything that we can learn from for the next year? Um, let us know. 
and I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitters, Sorgatron.com, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.